Hey, what's up everybody? This is Clayton Gonsalves with Go Analytics, and today we're gonna talk about renaming columns in Power Query. So let's go. Hey, welcome to our channel. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the notifications to stay up to date on all of our data visualization and data analysis videos. All right, so today we're talking about how to rename a column inside of Power Query. So let's head on over to my laptop and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I've loaded some data into uh, Power Query here and I'm accessing Power Query through Power BI. Um, so this data is coming from a SQL Server database. And one thing that you'll notice is that the column names are carried from the database. So when you get the data coming from a, a database, it's gonna be the exact same mnemonics as it was in the database. So you're usually gonna end up with uh, no spaces between words or underscore dash, uh, whatever your database administrator or whoever set up the uh, database decided to, to use in this case. And it's always best practice to change your column names to user-friendly uh, mnemonics. So, you know, we want to be as explicit as possible and have the uh, columns have spaces or uh, capitalization so that once you put that column in a report, it's going to look professional, it's going to look clean, and it's going to be looking polished and finished and ready to go. So how can we change the column names from that database uh, type of mnemonic to uh, a more user-friendly name. Well, it's actually really simple inside of Power Query. Uh, there's a couple of different ways to do it. Uh, the first way um, is just by double-clicking on a column. And you'll see here that it allows you now to start typing into this box. So I'll change my order date. I'll just add a space between order and date. So order date. And then I'll just hit enter. And you'll notice that on the under the applied steps here, a new step has been created that calls it renamed columns. And I could go on through all of my columns and rename all of them. So there's another way to do it. So you know. Microsoft always offers multiple ways of doing uh, the same thing inside of their tools. You can also right click on a column and click on rename. And then again, we're able to type in here, due date with a space in between. And there is still another way to do uh, the same thing, which is by going to the transform tab and we're gonna click on rename, uh, but let's choose another column here. Let's choose the ship date and click rename. And there we go. And as you notice, we just changed three column names, but we kept just one, um, one applied step here, which is great because it's not adding a new Step for every column that we rename it groups it all into one command that we can see here from the formula bar so we have all of our old mnemonic and new mnemonic all into one step so that's it that's how you can rename columns in power query hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you in the next video